Hi there and welcome back to another tutorial in our All Sliders Explained series. Today we are diving into the Blur tool and all its cool options. The Blur tool is set to be available by the end of August 2023. So if you don't have it yet, just keep an eye on the upcoming Luminar Neo update. But before we look at the tool itself, let's quickly catch up on what is Blur and how it works. Blurring in Luminar Neo is a technique used to soften and reduce clarity of an image. It's commonly used to create a sense of depth, focus or to remove fine details from a photo. To understand it, you have to imagine a picture that is made up of a thousands of tiny dots. Each dot represents a pixel, which is the smallest unit that makes up a digital image. When you apply a blur effect, you are essentially telling Luminar to mix and blend these pixels together. After that, it depends on a type of blur to see how they're going to mix, how they're going to blend and also how they're going to move. But now let's move into the tool itself. So as you can see, we are in the edit module and we're going to be focusing on our main toolbar. To access the blur tool, we need to go into the creative section where we can click on it and open it. When we are inside of the tool, we have the traditional adjustments tab and also masking. Coming back into the adjustments, we have a choice between the Gaussian, Motion and Twisted Blur. Now starting from the Gaussian Blur, let's talk about it a little bit. The Gaussian Blur is one of the most common blur effects used in photography. Think of it as if you are looking at the picture through a slightly frosted glass. And how it works, this blurring effect takes each pixel and its neighboring pixels and then calculate their average color and brightness. After that, it gradually blends the edges of objects, giving a smooth and soft appearance. So looking at our example, when we now start to adjust our amount slider, we can start very slowly and get just a little bit of soft blur or we can really go all the way to 100 and by doing that we pretty much remove all the details. Now when it comes to controlling the amount slider, don't forget that you can double click on it to reset it and if you're looking for a specific value or specific number, you can double click on the number itself and then use your numeric keypad to add an exact value. So for example, we can add 20 and then just hit enter and it will be entered into the amount slider. Now, what would you use the Gaussian blur for? Well, of course that you can use it to create a sense of depth and focus, and you can also use it to remove details. Additionally, it's quite handy when you want to remove noise or strong chromatic aberration. Also, a fun way to use the Gaussian Blur is to create, for example, the very popular miniature effect. To show you how it works, we're going to jump back into the catalog module. We're going to select the image right here and bring it back into edit module. By looking at it, you can see that the image is a composite of the person in front right here on this first layer and the background on the second layer. At this moment, you can see that the subject is in focus and also the background is in focus. So what we would like to do is to create a depth and to do that, we want to make the background a little bit softer or blurred. And to do that, we just gonna select the background then go into our Blur tool, use the Gaussian Blur and simply increase the amount until we like the result. So this is the traditional way of using the Gaussian Blur to create focus on the main subject and also to create depth. Now don't forget that the tool itself has the traditional controls on the top. You can check the quick preview by clicking on the eye icon and you can also reset the tool with the use of this little arrow. 
The second option and the second effect in our blur tool is the motion blur. To understand the motion blur, you have to imagine that you took a quick photo of a moving subject. If you move your camera while taking the photo, you get a blur along the direction of the movement. Luminar Neo motion blur mimics this effect. When we look at the controls of the motion blur, we have the amount, just like with the Gaussian blur, and then we have the angle. The angle slider helps us to adjust the direction or angle of the blur. So let's just increase it. And uh, you can see how the lines created with the motion blur are moving, all of them at the same time in the same direction. So you can really use the slider to adjust the position, angle, or the direction of the motion blur. But I think that you will understand this better on a real example. So let's jump into the catalog module, select the second image, let's just reset it, and bring it into the edit module. Now, as you can imagine with the guy on the motorbike, this is a perfect example and perfect use for the motion blur. So let's go down, open the blur, let's go into the motion, and let's start by increasing the amount. So we're gonna go quite far, let's go somewhere around 70, and now we're gonna adjust the angle or the direction of the blur. Now, keeping an eye on the image, I would like the direction of the blur following the direction of the bike. So imagine I am standing here with the camera and I'm moving with the motorbike, I would go with the camera towards this direction. So let's increase it even further. And really, I think something like this is right. Now, of course, that this is not perfect. Ideally, we would have the motorbike and the guy in focus and everything else blurred. Well, actually, this is done very easily in Luminar Neo. We're going to jump into the masking, here into the mask AI, and the application will scan the image and give us an option on what we want to mask. Looking at the options, we want to select the human and also the transport. By doing that, the mask will be applied to the motorbike and also the rider. However, we want to do the opposite. And to adjust this, we're going to go back, then into the mask actions and click on invert. And just like that, we get this super cool result. So let's go back to the adjustments. And here, maybe we just bring the amount down a little bit. Of course, that if you want, you can still adjust the angle and you can continue with masking and maybe even the brush, just fixing some of the details. However, this is the perfect example on how you can use the motion blur on images like this. And finally, we have the twisted blur. Twisted blur, or also known as radio blur, is another blur effect available in Luminar Neo. It's used to create a sense of movement and rotation around a specific point. This effect simulates the blur that occurs when an object is moving rapidly in a circular or radial pattern. And again, looking at the controls, we have the amount slider and we have the angle slider. By keeping the angle slider on zero, the effect will look more like a zoom radial blur. However, the moment I will start to move the slider around, the result will look more like a spin radial blur. Finally, we also have an option to place blur center. When we click on it, we will get the white dot on our image. And now we can drag it around to adjust the center of the blur. Remember, the definition of the radio blur is to create a sense of movement and rotation around a specific point. And by moving the point around, we are adjusting that specific point. And again, I think it will be a little bit easier to understand on the real example. So one more time into the catalog module, example right here, and let's move it into edit module. From here, we're going to go into the Blur tool, click on it to open it, and let's go back into our Twisted Blur effect. 
From here, let's click on the place blur center and adjust the center of our blur. So somewhere around here. After this, let's adjust the amount slider and let's go somewhere around 80. After that, let's adjust the angle. And I think that I'm looking for something like this or maybe the other way around. Let's have a look. No, I think like this. Once I'm happy with it, let's just double check the amount. Let's go somewhere here. And from here, we're going to finish the effect by going into the masking, then selecting the brush. Here, we're going to click on erase, making sure that we have quite big brush. I think somewhere around 250 softness on 100 and with the strength, let's go to 40. After this, we're going to brush away the area of the face. So maybe let's just bring the strength to 30 just to be sure. And let's brush away. So just like that, with a few brushes, we can make sure that the head is all in focus and everything else uses this beautiful radial blur. I think it really adds a cool effect and sense of motion. So going back to the adjustments, you can still adjust the amount of the blur if you want to. You can adjust the angle even further. However, again, you can see a great example on how you can use the twisted or radial blur on images like this. And there you have it. If you want a copy of our popular Luminar Neo Shonka Chi Chi, there is nothing easier than heading to our website cloudofphotographer.com slash Luminar Give. While you're there, you can also check out one of our popular Luminar Neo products, or you can stay here and watch more videos about Luminar Neo. For today, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please make sure that you like, comment and share on this video. And also don't forget to subscribe to our channel so we can keep creating content like this. For today, thank you very much for watching. My name was Jacob Bors and I can't wait to see you in the next video.